Peace, family. Happy New Year's, happy spring equinox and all that good stuff and all that and all that. I know y'all feeling the vibes. They strong, strong, right? Yeah. And it's only one degree. Um, the sun is only one degree into Aries. So, you know, once it gets into three, four, five degrees, we're going to feel that intensity. We're going to feel that temperament start to pick up some more. I just tweeted, you know, about some of our current energies that we're experiencing. But I just wanted to, you know, come a little bit more direct with what exactly we experiencing to start the week so with the sun in aries we know this is a whole new awareness a whole new shift towards you know our personal assertiveness our personal issues our personal passions goals endeavors and what's going on in our personal life all right how we deal with all forms of creative expression and what we want to give birth to giving you you know breath of life into all right i'm currently uploading the sun transiting the houses to understand how these energies influence us but as far as the energies to start the week you know with the sun in aries and the moon in cancer we know the moon is comfortable is in his it's comfortable. It's home in Cancer, all right? The moon is about your comfort zone. Cancer is about, you know, your private energies, what's home to you, all right? And these are two cardinal energies, all right? Cardinal signs, they clash. So while the moon is in Cancer influencing us to react and respond to how we deal with our emotions, how we deal with the family and home environment, the sun in Aries, the way we act on these things, the way we express these things can be real aggressive, all right? It could come from a real passionate place. So this is why I said in my previous tweet, we can find ourselves caring intensely. So when it comes to the people, places and things that you connected to, that you involved with, that you emotionally attached to, you know, the, to start the week with this, uh, you know, all these new Aries energies on top of Venus moving into Aries, you know, we can have extreme actions right now when it comes to the people that uh, we care about, um, situations, uh, siblings, relatives, all right, within our home environment, people that we live with, you know, a lot of uh, potential for extreme clashes here, okay, so we got to understand that even though we have a strong individual intent, a strong individual outlook on something, in order to keep peace, in order to keep, a, you know, a healthy emotional temperament or vibe in the household or among a relationship is going to deal with some sort of compromise or some sort of understanding you know whenever we're dealing with water signs especially that fourth house cancer like energy it's ruled by the moon so we're dealing with understanding connection but on top of that guys venus moves into aries today all right so we understand we already know aries is a real individual self-assertive type energy we already know mars ruled signs they don't really deal with relating well all right because mars is dealing with your self intentions so when we look at um when we look at uh you know this energy venus moving into aries venus is how we love how we relate how we uh you know connect so when it's in Aries, now we have a whole individual, you know, what can be selfish point of view when it comes to our love, all right? When it comes to how we, or when I say when it comes to how we deal with love, at least, okay? How we deal with connecting with others. So it's a positive and negative to everything, all right? We have a whole new boost of self-confidence and self-esteem when it comes to, you know, our values, our passions, and our creative endeavors, because whatever, we know value of Venus is always going to support Wherever Venus comes, she's always going to support. So Venus is bringing some support of some form of support, influencing us to appreciate and love what we're, you know, creatively into, how we want to express ourselves to the world, what type of new adventures, new things we want to embark on on our journey with it being airy season and us being influenced to experience new things overall. So Venus is trying to support all of that. So we're gonna have a high self-esteem and high motives towards experiencing things that that personally inspire us. So when it comes to our relationships, we're gonna be, we're being influenced right now to not really wanna compromise that, to, to not even care about relating it so much, just wanting to go ahead and just do what we personally wanna do. So just be mindful of this. When it comes to your relationships and when it comes to how you personally express yourself and the environments that you choose to do these things, keep compromising in mind. You know, Venus, once again, this is a situation right now where we may see a lot of couples start to break up and transform some more. Whenever Mars gets Mars touch something, 
it's going to influence transformation. So, you know, the beginning of the year, the spring equinox, a lot of things are transforming right now. A lot of things are growing, a very fruitful period. So these influences are uh, with the sun, in, sun and Venus and Aries, moon and Cancer. Yeah, we could take things real personal. We could have very strong feelings towards what we love, what we connected to and how we uh, personally see ourselves and express ourselves. Be very mindful of how you may, uh, you know, step into portals to ego clash with others and, you know, be, you, you want to, you know, stay spiritually prepped towards situations where you see a clash or you see some friction being developed and understand that with this energy, things, everything with Aries and Mars energy can be in extremes at times. Venus and Aries can ex express their feelings and emotions in extremes at times because Aries don't really know how to deal with their emotions unless it's passion, all right? So for the most part, that's what we want to keep in mind there, okay? Moon and Cancer gives us a chance to deal with the emotions in the home environment. It's just that the way we do it might be a little tad. It's a tad bit. It's a tad bit too aggressive at times. It's just a tad bit coming from such an extreme personal point of view. The more we could make our passion align with what we care about, the more we're going to be able to, uh, you know, navigate this transit to start the week. All right, family? So once again... Happy uh, birthday to all my Aries, all right? Happy solar return to y'all, all right? You know, it's y'all time to shine and all that and all that. And I got the sun chains in their houses uploading on YouTube as we speak. All right, family, enjoy the start of the week.